remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? After Democratic presidential hopeful Cory Booker dropped out of the Democratic primary on Monday, Donald Trump, your president, took the opportunity to take a sarcastic jab at him in a tweet. He said, Really big breaking news, kidding. Booker, who is in zero polling territory, just dropped out of the Democratic presidential primary race. Now I can rest easy tonight. I was so concerned that I would someday have to go head to head with him. This dude is a real fifth grader, man. I have never, and I've been following presidents for a long time. I've been following these elections for a long time, watching presidential etiquette. Trump has none. This dude is straight up dumpster juice. He has no class whatsoever. He couldn't even spell decorum. Moving on. Cardi B has political aspirations. Cardi B says she thinks she wants to be a politician. She dropped a series of tweets on yesterday saying, I think I want to be a politician. I really love government, even though I don't agree with government. I'm kind of confused by that one, y'all. I love government, even though I don't agree with government. I'm trying to think, what do I love that I don't agree with? Help me out, family. Do y'all love anything that you don't agree with? Maybe she should have said, even though I don't always agree with government, but to just say, I love government, even though I don't agree with it, that really didn't make any sense to me. And another tweet she said, like, I was watching war documentaries. No matter how many weapons the country have, you need people. How are you trying to go against a country and possibly start a war when this country lacks patriotism, I barely see people claiming they love being American. In her final tweet, Cardi B said, I do feel like if I go back to school and focus up, I can be part of Congress. I have so much ideas that make sense. I just need a couple of years of school and I can shake the table. I write, I write, look. I'm not one to tell people what they should not pursue, what type of goals that they should not pursue. I think a person should pretty much do whatever they think that they can do, whatever they really want to do. Um, I'm just not a fan of saying stay in your lane. You know, a lot of people like to say stay in your lane. I think it's interesting when people get outside of their lane, their so-called lane, their so-called uh, expertise in whatever they do when they cross the field and go into another field I think that makes for an interesting life somebody just doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again that's kind of boring to me I mean it's cool to go out and make history do something great but if all you're gonna do is be a great basketball player those are the only stories that you have. You haven't tried anything else. You haven't went outside of your comfort zone to try anything else. All you've ever done is be a nurse, and that's it. I mean, that's an honorable thing to do. It's an honorable career. But if all you're going to do is your whole life is just patience, needles, and surgeries, and scissors and you know <laughs> you know checking temperatures and all that stuff you know looking at graphs nah man i say get outside of the box and one thing about it say what you want to say about cordy b but she can't do no worse than the biggest crook to ever enter the oval office 
I ain't even got to say his name. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?